Good morning. Hello. Welcome to today's grounding Reiki yoga using the energy of the new moon in Aries. Good morning, Warren. Namaste. Good morning, Jackie. Feel free to hop in and say hello. Let us know where you're joining from. We're going to chat for a few minutes about what this new moon means, and then we will get into our yoga practice. So if you are not familiar with me, my name is Jackie Mancuso. I am a yoga instructor and a Reiki master. And today we are using this flow to ground our energies into this warrior energy of the Aries new moon. Enrico, good afternoon from London. Welcome. Hello again, Miriam. <laughs> if you are... Um, if you would like to use a block today, the only position that will maybe need a block is malasana, so the yogi squat. So if you have tight hips, I recommend um, reaching for a block at this time. If you don't have a block, um, you can use like throw pillows or a folded up blanket, a folded up towel, just something to help bring the floor a little bit closer to your bum as we squat down. Andrea, first time at your yoga session. Awesome. Thanks for coming. Hi, Christian. Hello. So today, um, sorry guys, my, my mind is a bit jumbled. My previous session ran a little bit long and I'm rushing around, so I'm trying to calm down for you all. Grounding is um, just taking your mind out of the future and out of the past, like I'm doing right now, grounding into the present moment. So throughout the practice today, I will be cueing you to just tune into certain aspects of your body, tune into certain um, senses, maybe what you might be smelling at the time, what you might be hearing at the time. And then after the practice during Shavasana, I will transmit some Reiki energy. So Reiki is a Japanese energy healing modality if you're not familiar with it. So the practitioner myself channels Reiki from source out my hands and it moves through the web of interconnectedness where time and space do not exist. So I'll walk you through a grounding meditation and also invite you to invite the Reiki energy into yourself. We will help you wind down. Thank you, Christian. <sighs> um, so I did mention if you use blocks during yogi squat or if your hips are kind of tight, bring a block for today. Uh, for me too. Hi from Italy. Awesome, Sarah. We'll all wind down together. And uh, during Shavasana, we, we will be flat on our backs for 10 to 15 minutes. So if you tend to get chilly, maybe reach for a blanket at this time also. Um, if you enjoy today's session and you would like to support me, you might choose to offer a donation. If you like this class, you might want to follow my Insight Timer teacher profile as well. Uh, all right, so let's talk about this new moon. New moons signify new beginnings. It is a time of planting new seeds, taking that first step down your new path. And this new moon is a little bit giant because it's the first new moon in our new zodiac cycle. So we just had the spring equinox where the sun entered Aries, and Aries is the first sign of the zodiac. So this is our first new time of planting in this new zodiac cycle. So whatever you are working towards cultivating in your life during this new moon will stay with you at least throughout the spring season, if not throughout the entire zodiac cycle this time around. So if you have some big dreams, some big goals, some big things that you want to manifest within your life, now is a really good time to just intend it to the universe. Tell the universe what you're going to manifest. Also, in 11 days, ooh, that's cool, because the Aries new moon is at 11 degrees of Aries, which is a magical number, and 11 days from now, Jupiter and Neptune are coming together in the sign of Pisces. Jupiter and Neptune meet in the sky about every 13 years, but the last time where they met in the sign that they are both the rulers of, Pisces, was about 166 years ago. So, this energy has been around for the last month, month and a half, and it will still be around for another probably about two months. But on April 12th is when they come together in the sky, and Pisces is the most mystical, magical sign in the zodiac. Jupiter is the planet of expansion and abundance, and Neptune is also our dreamy planet. 
So that energy is helping us all manifest the lives that we desire. So this new moon, as well as next month's new moon, are really good times to just manifest huge things within our lives. So no desire is too big right now. Aries, this new moon is happening in Aries. Aries is the archetype of the warrior. So this is helping you bring this warrior energy into whatever you want, fighting for what you want, not backing down. Aries is cardinal fire, so they are the spark of energy that goes, goes, goes. They have this like childlike, unimaginable amount of energy. So perhaps asking yourself which area of your life you would like to bring this warrior energy into. And that is the theme of today's practice, is the warrior energy. So we'll be doing a lot of warrior poses um, and just embodying the energy of the warrior today. So we will start today's practice in a mountain pose, so standing tall on your mat. Having your feet at a comfortable distance, if that is hip width for you, perhaps a little bit more narrow, a little bit more wide, just whatever feels right for you. Having your hands down at your sides, if you'd like to shine your palms forward, awesome. If your body's not feeling that, just letting them rest gently at your sides. Relaxing any tension from your shoulders, releasing any tension from your temples, your jaw. Feeling as if there is a string on the crown of your head, the very center point of your head. Feeling as if the string is pulling your spine straight up to the sky. Keeping your spine in a straight line, but not tense. Very loosely, gently here. Rolling your shoulders down and away from your ears. Slightly tilting the pelvis forward, taking any curvature out of the back of your spine, lifting the front of your hips up towards your abdomen here. Feeling grounded through all four corners of your feet. Closing down your eyes for a moment as we scan over our bodies, just checking in with how our bodies are doing right now. So bringing all of your attention inside your head. Noticing what's going on in there without placing judgment. Bringing your awareness to your neck. Scanning over the area. Feeling into the shoulders. Your upper arms. Your lower arms. Your hands. Bringing your awareness to your chest, tuning into the beating of your heart, feeling your life force energy flowing through your chest, through to the rest of your body. And coming down into your belly, bringing your attention to your organs, resting behind the abdomen. Bringing your attention to your upper back, feeling into your shoulder blades, the backs of your ribs, your lower back, your glutes, flowing down the tops of your legs. and your lower legs. Feeling into the tops of your feet, your toes, and the soles of your feet. And just taking a few deep breaths as you feel into your entire body, here and now. Tuning into your intuition as we settle on today's intention. This intention can stay with you throughout the practice while you're on the mat. 
And it can also lead with you as you step off the mat into your day, into this moon cycle, into the season, or into the zodiac cycle. Some examples of intentions for today might be, I am a warrior. I am a warrior of my family. I am a warrior of my career. I am a warrior of creativity or any other intention you so choose. Once you've arrived on your intention, matching breath to movement, inhale as you reach your arms out to the side, bringing them up above head, meeting the palms at the top, and as you exhale, draw your hands down the center line, settling that intention deep into your heart center. Inhaling the arms up, collecting all of the warrior energy present from the planets today. And exhale as you draw that energy down into your heart. One last time. Inhale the arms, reaching them up opening your heart to the universe. And as you exhale, drawing that intention, settling it deep into your heart chakra. Beautiful. Resting your hands down at your sides. And inhale to reach the crown of your head up to the sky. As you exhale, just gently looking over your right shoulder. Inhale, returning to center. Exhale, looking over to the left. Moving here at your own pace, matching breath to movement, keeping the spine long and straight, and using your warrior instincts to scan the situation, looking at the situation from all angles, looking for anything that might help you in this area looking for anything that you may need to keep your keen gaze on. And just noticing all four sides of your neck, using the breath to release any tension you may be feeling. And the next time you come to center, inhale as you reach the crown of your head up to the sky. Exhale as you drop the crown of your head to the back of the room, lifting your chin. Inhale to center. Exhale, drop the chin down to your chest. Moving at your own pace, staying in any stretch if your body is calling you to. up to the universe, being grateful for everything that it is providing you with, looking down to Mother Earth, being grateful for everything that she is providing you with. Perhaps asking for the help of the universe, asking for the help of Mother Earth to help you achieve your goals as you journey down this path. Leaving your chin at your chest the next time that you bring it down here. As you inhale, rolling the right ear to the right shoulder, then drawing the crown of the head to the back of the room. Exhale, coming to close the circle, left ear to left shoulder, chin to chest. Inhale as you roll the head open. Exhale to close the circle. Moving at your own pace here, continuing to match breath to movement. Releasing any tension that no longer serves you. Going into your journey with fluidity. leaving any stress or stagnation behind. When it feels right for you, switching the direction of your circle, 
Inhale as you open up. Exhale to close the circle. Just following the sensations within your neck. Noticing where you're feeling any sensations as you circle. Perhaps tuning into your shoulders, noticing any tension, any slight pulling of the muscles, the tendons as you circle around. And taking one last circle. And then meeting me back in the center. Shifting your weight over to your left foot, coming into a one-legged Tadasana. So spreading those toes wide on your left foot. And coming up on the right toes, just a gentle bend in your knee. And as you're ready, maybe lifting the toes slightly off the ground. And aiming to bring the thigh parallel to the ground, keeping your knee bent. Placing your left hand on the outside of the right leg. As we inhale, open the right arm up to the back of the room, twisting here in your one-legged Tadasana. Building up the strength in your left ankle, your left foot, knowing that sometimes we may not have all of our footing as we journey through life, but using this training ground here to prepare ourselves when things aren't as we think they will be. Taking one more deep breath here. Exhale, coming back to center, keeping that leg lifted. Option to stay here with the knee bent, or if you'd like to try to straighten out that right leg. Keeping those hips lifted, keeping your shoulders down and away from your ears. And on an exhale, releasing the right leg back down to the mat. Lovely. Coming on to your right foot now. Spreading those toes wide, shifting your weight into your right leg. Coming up onto the left toes. Slowly bringing your knee up. Keeping your thigh parallel to the ground. And leaving your knee bent for now. Placing your right hand on the outside of the left leg, and on an inhale, swinging that left arm to the back of the room, opening up over the left hip. Feeling as if there are roots growing down from your right foot, grounding you down into the mat. Keeping your breath deep, breathing to the bottom of your belly. Finding a spot to focus your gaze on. Taking one more deep breath here. Untwisting back to center, keeping that left leg lifted. Option to stay here or to straighten out the left leg, engaging the muscles in your thigh, breathing here, releasing any tension in your shoulders and your jaw. And on an exhale, stepping your left foot down. Moving to the top of your mat if you are not there already. As you inhale, step the right foot back, coming into warrior two. So your left toes are facing the front of the mat, left knee in a deep bend in line with the toes. Right foot points to the side of the mat at a 90 degree angle. Hips and shoulders square to the side of the mat. So working on rotating that left leg open, pressing the knee towards the left side of the mat. 
Settling here in warrior two, reaching your arms out to the side, feeling the energy flowing from middle finger to middle finger. Placing your gaze on your left fingertips. Feeling steady and feeling strong, ready to take on the world. As you inhale, flip the front palm, reach the left hand up to the sky, reaching the right arm down your back leg. Coming into reverse warrior, staying here for a few breaths. Reverse warrior or peaceful warrior. And just noticing the expansion on the left side of your body. On an exhale, coming to extended side angle, placing your left forearm on your left thigh, reaching that right arm up and overhead, feeling the expansion on the right side of your body. Feeling your ribs expand and contract with the breath. Inhale back to Peaceful Warrior, bringing your intention into mind. Is this an intention that peace will be the best course of action? Or exhale, extended side angle, is this something that you need to take head on? There is no right or wrong answer. Asking yourself, inhale Peaceful Warrior, is peace the right path for this? Or exhale, extended side angle, is this something that I need to take head on? Perhaps it's both. Inhale, peaceful warrior. Exhale, extended side angle. And coming back up to your warrior two, reaching those fingertips far away from each other, gazing on what is yours. On an exhale, cartwheel the hands down just in front of the left foot. Come up on the ball of the right foot, rotate the toes. And on an inhale, we're going to step our right foot next to the left, keeping the knees bent, reaching our arms up, settling into chair for just a moment. Feeling the fire coursing through your legs. Taking one more deep breath here, and on an exhale, standing back up to a mountain. You can stay where you're at. I'm coming over here so I can still face you. Inhale, step that left foot back to warrior two. Right toes facing the front of the mat, deep bend in the right knee, knee in line with the toes. Left foot at a 90 degree angle. Keeping your shoulders and your hips square to the mat. Working to spiral this thigh open out to the right. Breathing here, feeling the energy moving through your legs, feeling the energy moving between your fingertips. And gazing over the right fingertips. Perhaps your desire is over here instead. Inhale, peaceful warrior, taking a look from another angle. Feel the expansion on the right side of your body. And exhale, extended side angle. Keeping that deep bend in your right leg here. Feeling the energy moving from your left fingertips through the left side of your body, down your left leg and out the pinky edge of your left toe. Inhale, peaceful warrior. Is peace the best course of action for this desire? Or exhale, extended side angle. Do I need to face this head on? Do I need to throw myself into it? Inhale, peaceful. Exhale, throw yourself to the fire. Inhale, peaceful. 
exhale, extend. Inhale, coming back to warrior two, feeling strong here. Maybe bending that front leg just a little bit deeper. Exhale, keeping your uh, cartwheel your hands just in front of your right foot, twisting on that left leg. Inhale, step the left foot to meet the right as you reach your arms up, breathing here in chair. Keeping your sit bones rooted down towards the ground, keeping your chest lifted, feeling that fiery energy coursing through your legs. Deep inhale, and on an exhale, press yourself back up to mountain. Nicely, nicely done. Coming back to the top of your mat, inhale now to a warrior one. So step the right foot back. Right toes come out at about a 45 degree angle. Left toes face the front of the mat, deep bend in the knee, directly over the toes. Hips and shoulders point to the front of the mat here. Beautiful. Inhale your hands. Inhale. Reach your arms behind your back. Interlace the fingers. Press your knuckles down to the ground and lift your chest. Breathing here for just a moment. Opening your heart up to the universe. Take one nice big inhale. And on an exhale, fold forward over from the hips, allowing your hands to come along for the ride. Settling here in humble warrior. Keeping a deep bend in your front leg as you bow down to your journey. Tuning back into today's intention. Bowing to all of the places you have been, all of the lessons you have learned, and bowing down to all of the places you will still go and all of the lessons you still will learn. On an inhale, coming back up to warrior one, hands above head. On an exhale, bring your arms down. Inhale, using the momentum of your hands to step your right foot up to meet the left. And when you're ready, inhale the left leg back to warrior one. Left toes at a 45 degree angle, deep bend in the right knee. Toes facing the front of the mat, knee in line with the toes. Feeling strong here, feeling all of the energy moving through all parts of your body. Interlacing the fingers behind your back. On an inhale, press the knuckles down to the ground. Lift the chest. Breathing here for a few rounds. Opening the heart up to the sky. And on your next exhale, folding forward from the hips, bringing your arms along for the ride, coming down to Humble Warrior. Keeping a deep bend in that front leg. Pressing through the pinky edge of the left foot. Bowing down to all of those who have helped you in the past. Where you are now because of them. And bowing down to all of those who will help you on your journey and where you will go because of them. On your next exhale, coming back up to warrior one. 
Hips and shoulders square to the front of the mat. Exhale, swing the hands back. Inhale, swing the hands forward as you step the left foot up to meet the right. Beautiful. You can stay at the top of your mat, but here I am. Inhale the arms up, and as you exhale, fold forward from the hips, coming down into a forward fold. Option to keep your knees bent as you warm up the backs of the legs. Allowing your head, neck, and shoulders to relax. Allowing any mental tension to be released, to stay here on the mat. And now reaching your left arm to the outside of your right leg. Keeping a slight bend in the left knee. And inhale the right arm up to the side, reaching up to the sky, twisting open here in your forward fold. Wringing out anything in the spine that no longer serves you. Sending the breath deep to the bottom of your belly. And letting the out breath take any tension with it. Tuning into any smells that may be in your area. Perhaps the pot of coffee that is waiting for you after the session. Perhaps the freshly bathed animal. <laughs> the lovely dog shampoo. Or perhaps just the familiar smell of home. Exhale as you swing the right arm down, grasping the outside of the left leg. Slight bend in the right knee as you inhale the left arm up to the sky, twisting open. Using the breath to clear out any tension here on the left side of the body. Tuning into the fabric of your clothing, how it feels against your skin. Perhaps feeling your t-shirt moving with the belly as you breathe. Exhale the left hand down to the mat, resting for three breaths in your forward fold. On your next inhale, halfway lift, place the palms against the shins, reach the crown of the head away from the tailbone, Exhale, fold. Inhale, reverse swan dive. Bring the hands up to the sides, meeting the palms at the top. Exhale, drawing the palms down to heart center. Let's heel toe our feet out wider than our hips. Coming into a wide legged forward fold. Toes just about forward, maybe just a little bit out towards the sides. Inhale the arms up, and as you exhale, folding over from the hips. Just noticing how this stretch may be different from the traditional forward fold. Noticing what areas of your legs, your hips, your back may be feeling the stretch. Inhale, halfway lift, place the fingertips on the mat, reach the crown of the head away from the tailbone with a flat back. We're going to walk our hands over towards the right foot and exhale, melting down over the right leg. Gently pressing the hips over towards the left. 
and using the breath to clear out any tension you may be feeling. Inhale as you come up onto your fingertips with a flat back and walking your hands over to the left leg. Exhale as you melt the chest down to the left leg. Gently pressing the hips over to the right. Releasing any tension you may be holding in the hips, in the thighs. Inhale, halfway lift, come up to your fingertips, walking back to the center as we exhale, folding forward one last time here. Placing your hands on your hips to support your lower back as you inhale, slowly coming back up to center. Peel toe the feet in just a little bit as we prepare for Balasana Yogi Squat. If your hips are a little bit tight, perhaps reaching for a block and placing it under your sit bones as we come down into our yogi squat. If your hips are feeling open, perhaps walking your feet closer together. If you are feeling tight today, perhaps walking the feet out just a little bit. Aiming to keep your heels down on the ground. I don't think you can see my feet there. And turning the toes out to the sides. Keep the crown of your head lifted up towards the sky. Keep the chest lifted. Slightly tuck the tailbone underneath, lifting the front of the hips up towards the belly. Just taking any unnecessary curvature out of your back. Pressing the palms together and pressing the triceps towards the inner thighs to deepen the stretch in your hips. Using this grounding pose to release anything that no longer serves you down through your root chakra, settled in your pelvic floor, using that as an escape point for any energy that no longer serves you to stay here on the mat. After a hard day's work, a warrior still needs to rest. So coming down to your back, slowly lowering down to the mat, and drawing both of your knees in towards your chest. Placing your hands either on your shins or perhaps behind your thighs, and drawing your knees in close to your chest. Just noticing where you feel any sensations as you do so. Keeping the flat of your back against the mat. And gently rocking the knees side to side here. Gently massaging that lower back. Now keeping the left knee bent, interlace your fingers around your left thigh and reach that right leg out flat on the mat. Drawing the left knee in, noticing if the sensations change. Placing your hands out at a T and crossing the left knee on an exhale over the side of your body. Keeping your right shoulder against the mat, letting your gaze drift over to the left and perhaps placing your right hand on your left thigh to deepen this supine twist.
Breathing deeply, tuning back into today's intention. Releasing any tension you may be holding within your body. Slowly untwisting from the neck first, then allowing that left hip to float back down to the mat. And switching the legs here, drawing the right knee in towards your chest, letting the left leg float flat against the mat. And just hugging in that right knee for a few breaths. Relaxing any tension you might be holding in your jaw, in your temples. And placing your hands out to a T on an exhale, letting that right knee cross over the body. Letting your gaze drift over to the right and perhaps placing that left hand on the outside of the right thigh to deepen the stretch here. Sending the breath deep down to the bottom of your belly. Noticing how the expansion and contraction of the breath causes the stretch to deepen and soften. Tuning into the texture beneath your right hand. Noticing how it might be similar or different to where your head is laying. Taking one more deep breath. Unwinding slowly from the neck first. And then allowing that right hip to float back down to the mat. Laying everything flat out on the mat, coming into Shavasana. Perhaps covering yourself with a blanket. As we transition into the grounding meditation, and Reiki energy transmission. Allowing your feet to flop out to the sides. Hands resting comfortably outside the body. And closing down your eyes as you feel the weight of your body being completely supported by the floor. Feeling into the back of your head, your shoulders, the backs of your arms, and hands. your upper back, mid back, lower back, and glutes. Feeling into the backs of your thighs, your calves, And the heels of your feet. And 
you are supported by Mother Earth. Beginning to focus your attention on your breath. Breathing rhythmically, deeply, and slowly. And using the breath to open the central channel of energy within your body by breathing in deeply through the nose and watching the breath as it travels down your spine all the way to the root chakra in your pelvic floor. And as you exhale, watching the breath as it reaches up your spine to the crown of your head. Inhaling down to the root chakra. Exhaling up to the crown of your head. Continue for a few rounds in silence. Releasing the breath back to your natural rhythm. Feeling now as if there are roots growing down from the entire backside of your body. Watching as these roots travel down into Mother Earth. Pushing through the soil. Digging deeper. Digging wider. Firmly grounding yourself into Mother Earth. Welcoming in your guides or angels for any assistance they may have to offer now. Allowing permission for the Reiki energy to be received by intending to completely surrender to this Reiki energy as it nourishes your highest good. Bringing your focus now back inside of your body allowing your thoughts to flutter away as you receive this precious gift of time for yourself. Allow yourself to be fully present within your body, noticing anything that may rise to the surface as I keep track of the time.
returning your focus to your breath. And feeling into the weight of your body once again. Imagine a brilliant glowing ball of sparkling white light in the center of your chest. This warm ball of light surrounds your entire heart. On each inhale, this light becomes brighter and more vibrant. And on the exhale, the ball begins to grow in every direction throughout your body. Inhaling as the light shines brighter. And exhaling as the ball grows larger and larger until it encompasses your entire body. The white light slowly fades away as the connection to this Reiki energy transmission closes, allowing you to return home to yourself. I'm taking the time now to send gratitude to your guides and angels and listening in to receive any last messages. Slowly beginning to bring some movement back to your body, wiggling the fingers and toes, rolling the wrists and ankles, stretching out the body in whatever way it's calling you to. And perhaps rolling to your right side in a fetal position signifying a birth of a new version of yourself into this new moon cycle. Leaving all that no longer serves you on the mat as the rebirth occurs. Joining me in a seated position whenever you're ready. Thank you so much for practicing with me today. Love to all. Namaste.